over the last couple of months i've been scouring the internet looking for any information on what a guy like me can do to bulk up what a guy like me can do to get bigger who can look good and who can look fit now let me explain what i mean by a guy like me right my family has a very big mix of genes within it my on my mother's side most of my mother's siblings as well as my mother is very short her mother is short and her father is relatively tall he's about six foot two six foot three or whatever or he was um on my father's side half of my father's siblings are tall and the other half are short and he's also short his father is pretty tall and his mother is pretty short which um i guess i got my my affinity for short women from my father and my grandfather but that's besides the point anyways what I'm trying to get at here is that I have a very mix of genes in my family. I'm not very genetically gifted like a lot of these athletes around there, like Tristan Lee and some of these other guys. But what I do have is hard work and I, and I do have the affinity to get that hard work done. So I've been searching all the internet, just looking around, my, trying to find a workout plan. And then I stumbled on this one. No, I've been watching Joe Fraser's channel for a better part of a year or so now. And I stumbled on one of his videos about sometime last year. I just didn't have the ability to work out as much as I do now. Um, I stumbled on his video last year and he's a guy kind of like me, you know, not with so amazing genes, but you have, but I have the ability to do hard work and get there. So then I decided I'm going to look at his channel, see what I can do, what tips I can get. And um, so far it's been helping me. Um, if you guys can see here, I'm going to be trying the Joe Fraser's workout plan. And this workout plan is going to be involving this set of workouts. And in this video here, you're going to see me go into workout B over here. Um, and I did a video on my channel a couple days ago or a week ago or so um, of my first workout, my first workout. And I was using workout B, I mean A, sorry, during that time. And this is me continuing going on with this workout plan. So let me explain a little bit what's happening here. Usually when I hop into the gym, I start with some cardio. I run on the treadmill for about five to 10 minutes and just to get my heart pumping, just to keep my muscle, the, the heart is also a muscle. You guys gotta work that out too. And I also do that to help me with my breathing and to prepare for the workout at hand, especially since a lot of it is leg heavy. I struggle to build on my legs and that is a big part of your foundation. You need to start building on your legs. So I start with the, work, the, the treadmill just to warm up the legs a little bit and then I go straight into squats. Once I finish do the squats, bro, the squats just help a lot. This just builds up your base strength. This entire workout plan is for building up your strength and building up a foundation for when you can do this more focused workouts. I'm probably never going to do a bro split. I'm probably going to do a four day split, which would be upper body, lower body. I don't remember exactly what it's called because I haven't gone to that point yet. I'm still building up my strength and I'm going to keep building up my strength until I can't get any stronger. Once I have to, once I'm to that point where I can't get any stronger or um, I can't get any stronger for building mass, I will start doing the upper body and lower body splits so that I can start building individual parts of my body and working out those parts twice a week instead of once a week with a bro split. So I start off with the squats, get my squats out, you guys are going to see it here shortly, and then I move on to the bench press. I've been able to increase my bench press for just the wrong shine of 80, 90 pounds to about 125, 135. Somewhere around there, I, I get to that point with the bench press and I'm still increasing my weight. I do all this true progressive overload and that helps me get my strength up. I can feel muscles in places now. Before, I didn't even have a chest, but now I do. I, I feel muscles in places now that I didn't even know that where it was. I built up my mind muscle connection and that's where you guys are going to see a lot of the strength coming. I have a lot stronger of a grip strength. I got a lot stronger with my explosiveness, etc. And especially with my squats, bro, like I'm telling you this thing works.
Jesus Christ. What do you want, huh? I used to have these, you know. But yeah guys that's kind of the explanation of what my workout plan is and what i plan to do with it and what i plan to do in the future hopefully you know i'm, I'm just going to tell you guys now i started this year at 125 right now i'm 140 i'm probably gonna show you guys um probably a, a little video of me on the scale or something like that just to show you guys how much i've grown um but i've gotten bigger i'm not gonna lie i've gotten bigger and it helps bro it really really helps so if you guys like this video drop a like comment subscribe turn on the notifications so you know whenever i post i'll see you guys in the next video next weekend um i'm gonna start try to start doing more vlogs because um last week was rough i had like i had like a lot of midterms and projects and stuff and i still got more projects coming up for school and then work isn't even helping out that much better but yeah Hope you guys enjoy. Remember to go after all your goals and your dreams. I'm doing this out here right now. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Have a great week.